Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I will show you how to install and configure SSH server on your Ubuntu operating system. We will use OpenSSH. So first we will run NeoFetch to find out the operating system version. So here you can see I'm running Ubuntu 24.04 LTS. Okay, so next we will find out if OpenSSH server is installed on my operating system or not. So for that, I will just type the simple command SSH and hit enter. So if you see this kind of output, which says uh, usage and SSH, this means that SSH client is installed on your operating system. With SSH client installed, you can access any other server from this server using SSH. So uh, let me show you the command. You need to type SSH space and then the username, then at the rate and the IP address. Or if there are DNS configured, then you can use host name. However, with SSH client, installed only, you cannot connect this server from any other remote server. So this is where we need to install SSH server. Or next, let's find out how to check if open SSH server is installed and configured. So for that, we will type SSH and localhost. Hit enter. If it says connect to host localhost port 22, connection refused. This means open SSH is not installed and configured. Port 22 is default SSH port. However, you can configure any other port instead of 22. And we will see this later in this video. Install OpenSSH server on our Ubuntu operating system. Let me clear the screen. Okay, so we will type sudo apt install OpenSSH hyphen server and hit enter. So it's asking for my sudo password. Okay, so we will hit yes and enter. So now open SSH server installation started. Sorry. Open SSH installation completed successfully on my operating system. Once open SSH is installed, next we need to check if SSH services are active and running. So let me clear my screen. We will type sudo systemctl and status SSH. Hit enter. And here we can see it says active state is inactive dead. It says disabled. So we need to enable SSH service. For that, the command is, instead of status, we will type start. Hit enter. Now, again, we will see the status. So, now you can see active, it says active and running, which means my SSH service is now running. Now, once your SSH service is running, you can test if SSH server is installed and working correctly on your operating system. So, let me clear my screen. For that, we can give the command SSH local host, hit enter. So it says, are you sure you want to continue connecting? So I will type yes and hit enter. Now it is asking the password for my local operating system. So I will provide the password, hit enter. So once that is done, you can see I am now logged in to my open SSH server on my local host. So when you type SSH space local host, this is just to test that your open SSH server is correctly installed and working. So here you can see, if I say exit and hit enter, say, it says logout, connection to local host closed. So now I will connect to this Ubuntu operating system from my Windows 11 laptop via SSH. So for that, first we will find out the IP address of this Ubuntu server. So I will type IP space A and you can see this is ETH0 and this is my IP address. This is my Windows 11 laptop. So let me open PowerShell and then we will connect to our Ubuntu operating system via SSH. We will type SSH and then username for our Ubuntu server. So it is user1 at the rate and the IP address. So we will hit enter and see it is asking for the confirmation whether we want to connect. So we will say yes and hit enter. And now it's asking password for my Ubuntu operating system. So here we go. Now we connected to our Ubuntu server. Let me clear the screen and we will type cat etc then star hyphen release. And you can see this is my Ubuntu server which I, am, I have connected from my Windows operating system. Next, we will see how we can change the default port for SSH. 
So as I mentioned earlier, SSH use port number 22 as its default port. Now we will change that default port. For that we will open sudo nano and then we will type etc ssh and sshd underscore config. So this is the main configuration file for SSH server. So we will hit enter. Now asking for my sudo password. Okay. So in this file, you just come down and here you can see port 22 is mentioned and it is hashed out. So we will just remove this hash and instead of port 22, we will mention say port 2255. Now if port number 2255 is free on your Ubuntu operating system, then you can connect to this Ubuntu operating system from a remote server via SSH on port 2255. So let me save this file and we will see how to connect via a different port. After you change the default port for SSH, SSH service restart is required. So we will type sudo systemctl and then restart SSH. Hit enter. So now we will check the status whether SSH service is running or not. So status. So SSH service is now running. Now let's go to our Windows 11 laptop and we will connect via the new port which is 2255. So I am back to my Windows 11 laptop and this time we will connect via the new port configured which is 2255. On PowerShell we will type SSH then username then the IP address and this time you have to mention the port new port. So for that we will type hyphen P and the new port is 2255. So hit enter. So it's asking the password. Here we go. This time we have connected to our OpenSSH server via the new port configured which is 2255. Next we will check if the default port that is uh, port 22 is working or not. So we will exit from our Ubuntu server and now again we will try to connect and this time we will remove this hyphen P option. So we will hit enter. Now it says on port 22 connection timed out which means we are not able to connect to our OpenSSH server via port 22 because we have changed the default port from 22 to the new port 2255. That's all for this video. Hope you have enjoyed and learned from this video. I will see you in our upcoming series. Till then, keep learning, keep practicing and take care of yourself. Bye-bye.